Alright everybody, welcome back to Dishonored, and we finished the main game, but we're gonna go ahead to what, downloadable content, and not Dunwall City Trials, but the Knife of Dunwall, I believe it's the first DLC they had, story DLC anyway. We'll go ahead and start that one. Unlocking a new difficulty mode is automatically saved in your user settings. Okay. Go to new game. Let's see. Veteran. A moderately challenging experience. Enemies inflict more damage and have keener perceptions. Elite. A serious challenge for hardcore gamers. Enemies inflict extreme damage, have keen perceptions, and potions are less effective. Um, we don't have Master Assassin. Complete the campaign. To unlock the Master Assassin difficulty mode, a brutal experience. Um, by campaign, I'm guessing they mean this story. We'll go with Elite. Dunwall Tower. Uh, the two story DLCs um, for Dishonored are very good. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. No! Get away from her! Corvo! Power blink. Move rapidly from place to place. I noticed you can move horizontally as well as vertically, and aim at ledges to climb over them. Time will freeze if you stop moving while you aim, even mid jump. This gives you time to plan an escape or perform feats like challenging direction, changing direction in mid air. Hold L2 to target. While targeting a spherical marker indicates where you will end up. The freeze time release all movement controls, including X. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. We're at the Rothwild Slaughterhouse now. A captain of industry. Bundry Roth Rothwild is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate the Rothwild slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. For six months, 
the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Okay, so we, this is new. We have favors. As dad, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in the mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. So before we do this, um, I had to look up some of the voices because Dishonored has some great um, voices in it. and. This guy, I forgot his name, he's, he's Michael Madsen, he's a good actor, um, but also Piero is voiced by Brad Dourif, who is Chucky, and I can't believe I didn't realize that, so, yeah. Of course, we will go ahead and get eight sleep darts, um, rewire tools, shouldn't need anything else. Uh, favors, we'll go ahead, a guard overhead overheard the code to the safe in the shipping office and we'll etch it on the wall. Might as well. The stolen rune. A bribed laborer will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of old scrimshaw bound for the Academy of Natural Philosophy. The rune will be hidden in the sewer that spills out into the river. And silent sabotage. A bribed worker will dis disconnect the security on the refinery valves. Using the valves will not sound the alarm. Might as well. Let's look at upgrades. Um, uh, let's see. Bone charm capacity. Might as well. Oh, we should have got combat sleep dart. Oh well. So I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Okay, so we got runes. Um, so, mission clues. Workers in the Rothwild Slaughterhouse have rebelled against their boss and refuse to work until their conditions are improved. Except for the butchers, who remain on the job. Now we have only one rune. I always say blink is probably the best, and then um, void gaze. Um, now void gaze right now is just bone charms and runes. Void gaze. Press L2 to see in the dark and help you locate bone charms and runes. With the power equipped, the mark of the outsider on Dowd's hand will light up when you are facing a bone charm or rune. Level 2 shows you important items through the solid walls, like security devices, ammo, coins, and keys, as well as living beings. You can also see their fields of view, as well as visual representation of the sounds you make. Go on. Can 
off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You have no right to take it. Okay. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Nice. Alright, so there's a bone charm or rune right around there. Down there. Okay. Um, main entrance over there, and then the safe code is over there. So we got that zappy thing. I don't know if that guy's gonna be scared if I get near him. All these rats crawling all over everything. It's no use asking me anything. They've got my time card. I can't even get in to pick up my things. Anyone who knows anything's locked up down by the docks. I should have been with him. Okay. Whoa! Don't hurt me, mister. Don't worry about it. Another for whiskey and cigars tonight? What's going on? Oh, shoot. Where'd he go? Got you now. Die, damn it. Already made it sloppy, didn't I? Come on, please. Wait, why was I not crouching? That's weird to me. I know you're here. No, I know why. Okay. I get why. So we, we messed up this one a little bit. I remember now. I stood up and I guess I forgot to crouch again. So where is I gotta get back right now? <clears throat> there he is. We need to rid the sewer of the rat infestation. Make sure you set this crate of potted meat aside so we can lace it with rat poison. After it is poisoned, take it down to the docks so we can get it into the sewers below. Captain Galloway. Gross. That is one thing that um, has always kind of bothered me in Dishonored is um, whenever you have a body and you press its square to drop him and, uh, and something else to throw him. You press square and sometimes he'll st you'll still just throw him. 
looks like. What the hell? Mm. I hear the, uh, whatever, it's over there. But we got this. Meet Death, Bones, and Song. Exit from a butcher's journal. Leona looks worried when I come home at night. She was looking for that spark, our love, the life we had just two years ago, all our ambitions. But the more she pulls at me, the more I resent her, the more I bury all that. When her father was killed at the carriage station, I gave up my studies at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, so mismanaged were their finances, with so many debts in arrears, that her mother and younger brother would have been ruined had I not. My work feeds us all and keeps the rent paid to that shriveled old leech, Wainwright. I hate this work, but in the time of plague it takes all of one, all one's efforts to stay afloat of the discrep desperation, the blood and the rats. There are bribes that must be paid to the Lord Regent City Watch and Barrister Arnold Timsh's dead counters. Offend the wrong bureaucrat and your home is seized and you're off to the flooded district. So it falls to me. Every day, I drive my screaming saw into the beast's eyes wide open. I studied them for years at the academy and on my trip into the field, now working in the slaughterhouse. The wrongness is like a wound in my heart head. The first months I worked in a numb state, then my predominant mood was anger. Now the wound is scabbing over it, and on some days I feel a kind of power. My entire existence is meat. All there is in my mind is meat, death, bones, and song. The terrifying songs, they come to me in my sleep now. I look into the great eyes as I take away life slowly. There's a kind of deep connection with the beast knowing I'll be coming back again and again, removing pieces for hours, sometimes days. They sing for us, a funeral lament that causes me to tremble. Leona and I still share a bed, but the more she tries to make me feel something, the more I recede. The person I was is dead now. Alright. This guy's depressing. Okay, we have the it's down there. Okay. Yeah. Why won't this work? There we go. That was weird. I think the first thing I'm gonna get though is an upgrade to Void Gaze. And not Blink, just because since Blink has the freeze time be a little easier to get away. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Dang it. How'd he get away? I'll find you eventually. How? <sighs> God damn it! What the hell? playing around right now because it it's so different than the main game and what's weird is I'll blink behind him and he's automatically knowing that I'm there and see that right there I couldn't choke him out And another thing, whenever I'm blinking, it seems like lost I ain't stupid. I know you're Okay. Come on so not this time, but that last time I blinked, I was standing up. Uh, I hate Skimmers left. Oh, he's sneaking it's Okay. <laughs> See, look at that. Square to place. 
He oh, we placed him that time. Threw him the first time. That's always been something that's kind of bothered me, though. Alright, Falling Star. I don't think I want this one. Drop assassinating someone gives you a bit of mana. Yeah, don't want it. Nothing, buddy. Ah, that's right. Okay, so we can see... Alright, I could. I swear, okay, there it is. There's a bone charm right there. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Granny's recipe. Oh, Granny Rags. A page torn from an old manuscript written in a scrawling hand. The port side eye of whale, newly dead, plop it in the pot, grizzly and red. Weeper Reaper weeps no more. Laid to rest on blood etched floor. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a blood a birthday treat, Granny. Okay. Find the ingredients to complete Granny's recipe. They used to tell stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny, Granny rags. rags. They said she was a hundred years old. I don't know how old she is, but she's weird. Look at that dead whale. Go talk to this guy. You're, you're Dowd. Dowd. Shit! I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I want to know about a ship, the Delilah. Yeah, I heard of it. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I work for a very rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. This whole business with the strike, our doing. We got a mole on the inside, a lady pretending to run the labor crews, a real talent. She could lie straight to the high overseer's face and get away with it. We were supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day waiting to hear word. Only I haven't seen or heard a peep. I was about to shove off. If you're here to make a little mayhem anyway, Maybe you could find her. If she's still alive, she'd be able to get you everything you need to know about that ship. No question. And a substantial reward besides. Her name's Abigail Ames. Alright. Abigail Ames. Oh, I didn't even realize we didn't have a pistol. Got anything for me? No. All right, so I have a lot of workers. Save code right there. Main entrance. Send us food, not bullets. Oh, we got a zapper right there. Uh. 
Got a bone charm in there. A okay. rune up there. Well, that could have been really bad. I'm trying to remember. What's that? Had a lean, but I cannot remember how to do it. Actually, let me go ahead and just put this on left, this on right, boy gaze is top, this choke dust can be bottom. I hope that doesn't count for me. Where do you go? Oh, he could be chums if you come out. Pinky promise. You better hope I don't find you. You hear me? Dang, okay. Wow. then let's go ahead and try again I'm trying to think like because with um, the DLC well, at least this one I'm trying to remember them because it's been a while um, there are a lot of different there's I think there's more ways than in the main game to do some of the stuff um, I remember Whoops, didn't actually mean to look at it. Um, I remember this one actually being kind of hard because of how easily some of the people spot you. What in the world? Just like fell off. <laughs> you are the thing. And it's actually pretty hard to upgrade the first two things, unlike the first game, which you could upgrade pretty easily. All the others, down with the sickness. They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. The key to the gate is in the break room across the yard from here. Retrieve... Ah, key to the gate. So the gate key's over there. I'm trying to avoid... You know, I could have just used sleep darts right there. But I'm really trying to kind of avoid... Using a ton of sleep darts. Whoops. God damn it. That the city's dead. We'll make it three more minutes. Yeah, I need to turn that off.
No, take it. Okay, so I couldn't take it out. That kind of screwed me. I couldn't take it out while holding him. I didn't realize that. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Actually, something I've always wondered. Why are my sleep badge right there? When I find outsider, move your ass. So you can do that. Cool. I know you're here. I've never actually tried uh, doing that. Three one nine. Where are you? Oh, the safe is back Don't there. Oh, I'll find you. I never saw a safe. Check everywhere. Slaughterhouse Row. Exit from a book on Dunwall City Districts. For more than two decades, a number of slaughterhouses sat along the Renhaven, out away from the finer quarters of Dunwall due to the blood, rats, and stench associated with the processing meats. Independent whaling ships brought in the occasional le leviathan, and barges delivered herds of blood oxen. An individual slaughterhouse might fold due to mismanagement, but the numbers stayed Roughly the same, producing the meat, leather, and grease byproducts needed to needed across the capital city. Only when the rosemary processing treatment was discovered did the whaling trade begin to rise in prominence. Driven by the many new uses for the much more volatile refined whale oil, including military and security uses, early into Empress Jasmine Caldwell's brief reign, the well-known inventor and natural philosopher Anton Sokolov introduced a series of devices that would begin to see deployment across Dunwall, directed by the royal spy master Hiram Burroughs. With the lucrative term of events, the number of slaughterhouses quadrupled and the demand for fresh whales increased proportionately. Many districts immediately adjacent to what was suddenly known as Slaughterhouse Row began to change as families moved away to avoid the industrial fumes and of all runoff produced by the processing plants. Crime grew overnight, forcing the City Watch to redouble its efforts against Dunwall's gangs. After this morning, we're taking away time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message. Collect blueprints to unlock no upgrades and equipment at the start of the next mission. What is that? Small scale explosive refinement time card. All the others down with the sickness. It's a good song. Alright, we still need the gate key to help those guys out. Arc mine. Place this mine nearly anywhere. When triggered, it will deliver a powerful electrical charge. Reducing the target to ash. Arc mine shipment. Mr. Rothwild, I have great appreciation for the use of your space and your whales in the advance of my studies. All of Dunwall will be in your debt for your contribution to my work. 
In light of your recent difficulties, I have prepared for you a gift of my latest defensive technology, the Arc Mine. It is based on my Arc Pylon and will provide superb protection against intruders and those who would interfere with our efforts. I am certain the device will serve you well. Anton Sokolov. Alright, so we got the key. Compactor arc Looks amplifier. We Boot checks problem. on the Renhaven. A letter excerpted from a book of on members of the City Watch assigned to the Renhaven River. Dearest R Rutherford, your latest writing brought me a mix of sadness and delight. I was sorry to hear of the passing of your friend Cochran from Morley. He was undoubtedly a good man and a worthy ally of your work with the City Watch in Dunwall. I know that the River Patrol is a difficult assignment, especially during these times, but it is important work. So given all that you've told me, I can only assume Cochrane was, was as brave as you are, my younger brother. It saddens me that such a vile organization as the Dead Eels even exists outside the realm of those lurid gothic novels and we read as novels we read as school children. That you and your men should have to face them out of the waters of the Ren Haven is just terrifying. Boots must be checked. I know, I know. But if you should be harmed while ensuring some Tivian fur trader is carrying the correct tax papers, I will never forgive this new Lord Regent and his flurry of laws. You talked of adventure when you signed on, and danger seems to excite you. But you'll forgive me if I hope to see your patrol transferred further west, near to Caldwin's Bridge, where the military presence is stronger and the smuggling gangs fear to ply their wicked trade. I've gathered this much from the newspapers, but perhaps there's nowhere safe in Dunwall right now, certainly along the river. It pains me to imagine the customs crew at the checkpoints near your patrol being so short-handed. My mind reels at the thought of how anything else can take priority over my brother's life. I tell you, what I wouldn't give to be in charge of allocating the sec sec security details, you'd have a hundred men at your call but I know that is impractical. Please write again when you can. All of us look forward to your words, and I often share them after dinner with our friends and those visiting us here in Dis Driscoll. May your next letter bring news of eradication or imprisonment of Lizzie Stride and her cursed dead eels. Stay safe and remember as us always. Your sister, Pearl. Jeez, that was long. Anything else? Let's just go back up. <sighs> if we can... There we go. <clears throat> Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Shut up, man. You ain't gonna get another crack. I'll crack your skill. Make sure there's no one else around here. Yeah, no one that can see us anyway. Did you hear that Miller's wife left him for a captain of the watch? We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. I already took it down. We can shut it off. We can slip past the city watch when the time is right. I already have a time card. Oh, I guess you got no real reason to help us then. I already did, buddy. What enough? Oh. Somebody, please, please help! Guard! Alright, you know what? I did not realize that was gonna happen. 221, 26. Oh, that was five minutes ago. Alright, let's just see if. You know, how long it. How far it takes us when we die. This was too bad. I don't get paid. You look like you're up to no good. I didn't realize doing that was going to have that happen considering in the first game we literally stole from every single person at that party and the most that happens on hey you shouldn't do that um after this morning Taking away time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things. 
time to send a message. Okay. Now the rats can fight over your guts. As from what I remember playing it last time, when you jump and start to use blink, you're supposed to pause time. And it didn't there. <sighs> okay. Really don't After understand. This morning, we're taking away time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time Why that didn't pause time? Look, I'm floating. I don't understand there's anything over here. Back all or the promotion. <clears throat> Look out, we got someone skulking around. There. still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. I already have a time card. Oh, How I guess you got no real reason to help us then. Down with the sickness. Now, I already did the... No, not pickpocket talk. Hmm. Is the wall of light down? You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Thank you. Guess you took what you came for. Just, if you see Abigail Ames, tell her we still believe in her. Well, I hope that doesn't, uh, hurt those other guys. Oops. Shot their own, buddy.
Oh, that's right in that place. I need to get the lever right there. Taking less damage from falls. I mean, we have nothing equipped, so might as well. Right, so that first part was extremely sloppy, but gotta get used to the new sensitivity. It's it's really weird. Um. I don't remember every th kind of the. I don't remember the blink being so different. Like, I keep blinking and it keeps standing me up. I'll blink behind somebody, they'll automatically know I'm there. I don't know, it's. Been a Rockwell's lot of got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Yeah. Got a misplaced room. Actually. Wow, so we have, there's that room. One, two bone charms, and two more rooms. I want to get at least one more rune to upgrade one of these. Oh, there's the whale. There it is. Anton, this thing was found in the belly of catch number 184 when we were processing it. I've seen plenty of weird things in a whale's gut, but never one of these. Must have consumed it in the deep, and I think it's been in there quite a while. Don't ask me how I can tell. If you have any ideas on what this may be, please inform me. One of these was recovered back in the month of wind, but I haven't seen it. Or the man that found it since then. BR. Alright. So I'm going to upgrade Void Gaze. Um, seeing the dark and see useful objects and security systems through walls, see living beings through the walls as well, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. Okay. And then the next one we'll do is Blink. So that means now... We can see the systems, we can see that dead guy. Okay, so someone's coming up here. I still can't get up there. Is 
going the other way. Rothwald's office. That was a misplaced room. Completely forgot about it. Electrocuting a whale. I set up this device to stimulate the whale's nervous system with the intention that doing so will provide prolong oil secretions and squeeze more of the precious fluid from each catch. Unfortunately, this device can lead to the instant death of the beast. If too much power is used, filling both tanks and activating the device extinguishes all life function in an instant. A painless and quick experience for the whale, but at the loss of the additional revenue that can be generated by sustaining it as long as possible. Anton Sokolov. Pull out the whale tanks. Yeah. Merciful. Okay, so we see the tank over there. There is a dude. He's coming back this way. I thought he saw me, I was like, what the hell? Maybe if you're, like, moving, um, they'll throw them. Tilo can't use blink while holding one of these. Activate the switch to electrocute the whale. Sad. Okay. Bone charm, bone charm. Anything back over here? Not really. So I know there's one guy walking around. One, two, butcher's crew, three, four. 
A lot of sleep darts, so they really did expect you to use the sleepers. Oh, can't move. What the hell? Okay, so another guy in there. Okay, but let's go ahead up there. Ames negotiations. Mr. Rothwild, my research on Abigail Ames has turned up nothing. She has no close kin that we can leverage. Looks like the plague took her sister and mother. Her father died on a whaling ship if your predecessor uh, whaling ship of your predecessor about ten years ago. As far as blackmail goes, she's got no secrets I could uncover. Devout as an overseer, it seems. Not surprising since she's rejected every blackmail offer to come her way. I don't think she's making a power play. She seems to legitimately have the best interest of the laborers in mind. As I interview the workers, it seems she really has them to enthrall. They'll do whatever she says, and their belief in her is obsolete. If something happens to her, as in like an accident or something, I expect they'll riot. I'll keep searching for an angle on her, but in the meantime, I advise leaving her intact. It might be worth even considering some of her reforms. I know that doesn't suit you, but at least it would buy some time and get the workers back in there. The butchers lack the finer skills to keep this place operational. Your servant, G. Interrogation. Rothwald, the interrogation chair is set up in the meat locker and fully powered. We have some test runs on a few of the most problematic laborers. They spill all of their secrets very quickly. They seem to die easily after about four treatments. She is ready for you whenever you need her. Granville Butcher Foreman. Uh, I guess I forgot to pick up the uh, thing. Okay, and we don't know the cube. More sleep dogs. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure. Could it be one eight four? No. May not have found it yet. What a sad song the old behemoth sings. It looks right at me when I sit here to have my nightcap. Yeah. Look at me. A fly next to you, but I'm your master, ain't I? Kill a hundred of your kind, and I'll kill a thousand more before I'm done. Drain you, then feed you to my butchers. The mournful cries of the whales don't touch that lot. No, sir. They don't have hearts, I think. But by the outsider, I think I still have a small one. Shriveled and blackened as it may be. Yes, sing me a lullaby while I have another drink. Okay. Uh, it is just a bone charm in there, though. No, 
this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild, Bundry. Don't call. <coughs> you? <coughs> oh no! Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know... I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. Okay, so we have a couple options. We can do that for her. Uh, we can interrogate Rothwild. The Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. Not sure about that. Injury report card. Five injuries have been reported over the span of one week, resulting in two fatalities. Five, one, two. Let's see. Max mana has been slightly increased. Alright, let's go ahead and just search this place, see what we can find lore wise. Fleet report for the month of Nets. The Dauntless sailed north ten days to no result. Word is she restocked in Driscoll to pursue a large pod east of Moore. Delilah is coming back fully loaded. No reports of lights or singing. Another sign that Barris has lost it. The Huntress is in dry dock after a nighttime ramming off Pandisia. Engineers looked at the damage. They say it wasn't a whale. Or if it was, it was a very odd looking one. Is that it? Alright. <clears throat> Factory management in our times. Exit from a book covering the approaches and personalities behind Dunwall's dominant whaling houses. Seemingly willing to risk any industrial secrets he possesses, Bundry Rothwild has granted none other than the infamous Anton Sokolov liberal access to the Rothwild slaughterhouse. Sokolov is, of course, well known on several fronts. As a royal physician, he served the late Empress Jasmine Caldwin. The man originally Tivian is a fixture in the art world as well and his portraits are all the rage among the aristocracy, but Sokolov is of interest in Rothwild because of his work as an inventor and because of his associated role as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. No doubt Bundry Rothwild believes that if Sokolov spends enough time in the guts of his factories, the brilliant man will continually make invaluable adjustments to the machinery there. 
Who knows what industrial improvements Rothwald has enjoyed since Sokolov began haunting his slaughterhouse. And since the Rothwald process involves keeping the whales alive for sometimes, for sometimes days as a means of extracting more oil from the beasts, Sokolov is keenly interested in, in visiting so that he may perform his obscure vivisection experiments in very few places would this be possible. So the benefit to both men is obvious. For those who have had the pleasure of touring Rothwald's facilities, a number of lessons can be taken away. The man runs a tight ship, as it were, with the low light, lowliest workers scantily ever complaining about their role in the scheme of things. The men and women given the most menial labor are issued special cards, keyed to the mechanical locks granted access to the slaughterhouse. There is no way in or out, and to lose the time card is to lose one's job. Lording their position over the others, at the top of the hierarchy are the butchers. These men wield advanced cutting saws developed by Rothwald's top mechanists, working out the plans after hearing mere utterances made by Sokolov as he commented sourly on the lesser devices used in previous years. The butchers enjoy a special relationship with Mr. Rothwald because, according to the company Gossip, many of them were with him in years past, where he ran a whaling crew that was notorious across the empire. The pressure valves leading directly from the slaughterhouse to the Greaves refinery are a marvel of engineering, allowing the raw oil to travel in record time straight to plants where it is processed. As a note of interest, or dare I say even humor, the local fishermen claim that the watchers outside the Rothwald slaughterhouse produce the largest and tastiest hagfish. This is most likely due to the gut sewer leading from beneath the whales inside the delivering inside and delivering their organs and ofall to the dark waters of the Red Haven beyond the slaughter. Gross. The way you fight, the things you can do. You could change the Empire. If you set your mind to it. Shipment manifest. I wonder why you never did. Captain Withers, all of the cargo destined for Samara Tivia has been approved. Please delay loading until just before departure. There is a special delivery that was to be prepared by Foreman Ames, but she has been detained at the moment, so, thank so that particular shipment is suspended for now. If the special package has not been prepared by sundown, you may depart on schedule and other arrangements will be made. Remember, only our approval list of crewmen are allowed to handle this delicate cargo. Marine Clerk William Wilhelmina Bowers. Mission clue: An empty crate fitted for live cargo is going to be shipped away soon. Okay. I've watched butchers work for years, and I thought they were the most dangerous men in the city. But they aren't, are they? Depends on what you mean. Uh. Bundry Rothwild, the opportunist. Exit from an investigator's report. Young Rothwild was never convicted for any of the killings, in all cases, the courts ruled that he had acted in self-defense or in the defense of his property. Not that his property was substantial. The Rothwilds were not a family of means and depended heavily on the charity of the Abbey of the Everman. The senior Rothwild went down with the whaling ship Huntress when Bundry was only 10 years old. His mother Ruth was lost the following year to an industrial accident in the bottle-making factory where she worked. Rothwild became the sole guardian for his younger brother and managed to support them both by hanging around the harbor, doing odd jobs for whalers who had known his father or others on the Huntress. By then, Bundry Rothwild was already familiar with the club and the knife, and was no stranger to odd occurrences. Things went from bad to worse for Rothwild when, on his 13th birthday, his younger sibling was taken by the overseers. Allegedly, the boy failed the successive trials and did not return home. Rothwild lacked the funds to pay an investigator and not, and no subsequent hint of his brother's fate has ever been learned. This latest tragedy to befall Bundry Rothwild 
instilled in him a view that the world itself was malevolent and hungry for life, especially innocent life. After a time of black, of black, black morning? I don't know. He approached the whaling ship cutter and began learning the trade from the crew. Rothwild took to whaling with great success. At sea, he hunted the beast with a single-minded purpose. It would take extraordinary risks in locating and harpooning his prey. Among the crew, those men he could not beat senseless. Those men he could not beat senseless, he outwitted. In short order, he petitioned the maritime barrister Arnold Timish to grant young Rothwild a whaling license, paying the significant fees himself rather than relying on a sponsor for the funds. The rapid ascend, ascent of Bundry Rothwild had begun. You clean all the guts off the Records office floor. key. If I say yes, you're going to close your trap. <clears throat> So there's one valve. I want to find the crate though, because I do remember you can put him in the crate and ship him off. And while he doesn't seem like a good person, it doesn't seem like he's killed anybody. Um. That painting right there, I believe. Rune and a bone charm down here. Let's go and see if we can get those. Okay, so they're all the way down. Oh, this is where the misplaced rune is? Yes, indeed. Bone charm down there. May have died. Another guy up there. Explosive solution. Luca, we grabbed these from the from some sleeping overseers. Next whale carcass that needs carving, try planting these deep in it first. They ought to tenderize things real nice. Even if they don't, it'll be fun. Mind that you don't blow yourself up though. <laughs> Ooh, another guy over there. Oh, shit. Well, what? <laughs> Did not, uh... Yeah. Could be rats. Yeah, that's all yes. it is, buddy. Rats. Okay. We're using those a lot more frequently than I used to. Why is it? There we go.
party crew. Summon assassins deal more damage. Not using that. So. There's another guy. Oh. <clears throat> Don't know what he was doing. Where is that crate? Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Well, oh, a process. We read that in the main game. just goes down here, okay. So we need two more valves before we 
need to find the uh, thing. Oh, well, we need to find the box first. See what I mean? It's so different from the last one. But why? I don't remember it being like that. That's just so weird to me why it's like why is it that different? I don't remember it being that different. Whatever I guess. Oh, it's directly below. Got another map. Alright, that's all of those. Spiritual pool, you'll regenerate mana slightly faster. Okay. Um, Alright, so we'll go ahead and grab this one really quick. I didn't do it. I think we'll go ahead and grab Wild Wild and just interrogate him. Maybe we'll just do everything, you know? If I can find him, that is. I don't remember where he is. Seem to be any more runes either. Here we Kill him? Okay. Maybe you were too rough on him. Or he had a bad heart. Well, I didn't kill him, so whatever.
time is short. Now, about the Delilah. You're sailing in murky waters, assassin. Now, they say that ship was sold to Rothwild cheap by one of his business partners, a barrister, Arnold Timch. They'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market, instead of giving it to the Lord Regent. Treason. Would that be why you're here? My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Interesting. Because that's only half the story. Arnold Timps sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its namesake. Timps fell in love with a painter named Delilah. It was the scandal of the season. That shrunken old lecher acting like a giddy schoolboy over a nobody. A former serving girl from Dunwall Tower. Let me guess. It didn't end well. It never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened me very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Timps is not a man who scares easy. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'll tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. Okay, well let's go to the sewer exit because the main exit doesn't seem like worth it. Hey fellas. Well they don't see me just yet. You guys might want to get out of here. Is this not the sewer exit? Oh, here it is. I didn't see it. But what we're gonna do is end it here. Because it's getting kinda long. Um, I have to push X to get into the next part anyway, and before I do that, I'll just end it. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you.